I'm really pleased to be able to say, after caring for this landscape for almost a century now, we're taking another 170 hectares of it into our care. One of the problems with this landscape is that for many years, much of it has been under cultivation. And ploughing can be hugely damaging for the archaeology beneath our feet, year on year, destroying more and more of it. But by taking this additional land into our care today, it means that we're able to return it to chalk grassland. That in turn means that we're able to remove it from Historic England's Heritage at Risk Register and ensure that the archaeology here is protected for generations to come. That includes because of what's known as the Bowtie Field. Um, within it, that's got a big chunk of the Stonehenge Avenue. That's the Bronze Age processional route that led all of the way from the River Avon right up to Stonehenge, the Stone Circle itself. Not only are we able now to return this to pasture and protect that fabulous archaeology, but we're returning it to chalk grassland. Over the course of the last 20 years, our vision for the Stonehenge landscape has enabled us to revert more and more of it to pasture, but at the same time to open it up to permissive open access. Over the course of time, what we'll be able to do is open up more of this landscape for people to explore and to understand the stories of the people who built and used this extraordinary place.